Hello my beautiful Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light. Today I'm going to do coffee cup reading for this week and due to the general nature of this reading, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't for the others. If you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to give them a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and become a part of this beautiful soul community. Alright guys, I'm going to dive into your reading and before I do, I was inspired to pull up a card from this um, star seed. Uh, Oracle cards from Rebecca Campbell. Okay, this is like this is not. I can't even show the box of it. Okay, these are the cards. Let's see what's the message for you for this week. What you need to know. What you need to do in order to go through, get through this week, and manifest your desires. Okay. Okay, this is very actually. At first, I saw the card and I'm like, oh no, this is not a good message. But then I thought, okay, maybe that some people need to hear that. This says, I'm sorry. Okay, at first I took the I'm sorry as like, I'm sorry, whatever your desire is not coming. But then I saw, like, I saw, like, this this thought came to me. Maybe you need an apology. Maybe uh, there is a person or a situation that is that hurt you is actually sorry for what happened, okay? And there's a healing happening for you, okay? If you're defenseless, uh, maybe you have been defenseless in a situation that you didn't have the chance to explain yourself. And this week, you're going to get that chance to amend things, make things... Um, um work in a better way for you okay your old mistakes are going to be healing and you're going to be pulling out pulling them out of their roots and make new decisions and make new uh you know relationships connections maybe take new steps maybe in the past you did like maybe bad investments and you didn't get the returns maybe this week you're going to get the chance to amend all those things okay and the investments can be all, also with people as well. It doesn't have to be like financial stuff. All right, guys, let's dive into your reading. Let me see what's coming. What is this? I can't believe what this is. This is so clear. Okay, this is so clear, but I'm still going to read it. You see the teardrop is falling into your cup. Okay, there is going to be actually... Uh, tears of joy, good news, and great news is going to be coming for you in the beginning of the week, okay? I see here a light bubble, and there's a face in here. This looks like a dog, but this dog is barking. This can be someone you have as a friend, maybe a family member, a person you know uh, that has been very loyal to you, and maybe they turn around and they start barking. They start uh, making you uncomfortable. And uh, maybe during this week, there's going to be a solution for that. Or maybe you're going to find a way to connect with this person and resolve the situation, whatever that thing happened between you guys. And I see a lot of crowd. You can see a lot of little like dots down there. There are actually a big a crowd a crowd of people maybe you're gonna be in the middle of a crowd you're gonna go into a concert entertainment or something like that uh, you're gonna be enjoying this week with uh, yourself maybe the people that you love uh, you're gonna be joining that i also see a dolphin's face here the nose is a little actually shorter than a dolphin but that just reminded me that jumping out of the water just showing its face this can be like a, an opportunity of fun and entertainment for you and when i see always see that i don't know if you guys watch any of you guys watch bashar his uh real name is daryl anka and he's channeling this energy entity called bashar and he says like the easiest way to manifest something okay have a desire visualize it act like you have it and follow your inner excitement highest joy whatever is giving you highest joy just do that as much as you can do it, as far as you can take it for example if you like knitting socks okay just knit those socks as much as you can do it and when you get bored of it just drop it and just go to another thing okay don't think about your manifestation don't focus on don't put a lot of energy on that because um the only way to manifest and the the easiest way to uh, magnetize your desires to you is just follow your highest joy because that's the inspired action it doesn't have to be like if you're manifesting money it doesn't have to be related to money whatever is giving you joy at that moment maybe you just want to paint okay follow that pain maybe you're just gonna go to a painting course or um byob 
for a night like bring your own beverage you're gonna go have like a painting session with the people and then you're gonna connect with people who are actually going to give you the opportunity to make more money you know maybe they're gonna show you a path or tell you like a good investment source you know follow your highest excitement and this like a little baby dolphin showing out of the water is telling me in this week if you get a nudge like that if you get like a um you know inspiration like that you know you feel like oh maybe i should go to supermarket or maybe you're gonna meet someone with there okay like if you get a nudge like that follow that because this is going to end up being your highest joy and excitement okay all right guys i also see somebody here somebody who's actually holding this T, letter T, can be in their first name or the last name. You can see this person's face. He has a mustache and a beard. And um, this T might also be in his chest. This, I don't know, it doesn't actually look like a um, Scorpio, but it just reminds me of that. This can be someone very like Scorpio, like uh, has those kind of features, like um, as a sign or maybe... Also, this also looks like a drill, like a power, like, a, you know, those things that they just ground, drill the ground on like the concrete and stuff like that. That also looks like that. This can be like a construction worker or maybe like a construction thing. Like if you're planning, maybe if you want to have a renovation in your home, maybe you're going to find the right person. Or if you're like this person, because they look like they have like, a, you see like wide shoulders and there's also another person right under him this looks like a bird so you're probably going to be receiving news from this person or a message or you're going to find it online maybe you're going to reach out to them there's going to be communication between you and this person this doesn't have to be something work related but i feel like this is going to be like getting work done related not exactly work related but if you're working construction and that's what you're desiring this is also showing up for you here in the middle of the week okay on the bottom of the cup i see somebody here looks like a puppet master it has a letter a inside of their hand so it can uh, maybe they have the letter first a like um, maybe in their first name or the last name they have the letter a this person's like a uh, in your heart uh, you're you want to meet with this person but this person's a little bit puppet master kind of a person but another thing too this is actually i don't know what it's called in english there's this tool that when i was in like school like high school we used to sketch like uh, angles okay there's this um two-legged with like needles and the points needle points uh, there's this mathemat mathematician's tool that we use to just measure the circles one point and the other point has like a pencil place that you put the pencil in i don't know if you guys ever see such a thing and you you know you do like um a geometric things so this can also be like an architect doing like geometric stuff and like like i said we have the worker here we have this thing the architect if you're doing any renovations in your house or planning or you want to work in that kind of an industry you're going to be actually this is if this is in your heart there's going to be an opportunity coming for you i know this is very specific you can take it how it resonates this can be also mental and physical reconstructions of your being okay just take it how it resonates with you like i said there's going to be huge huge massive crowds you're going to be getting into a lot of people um they're all smiling this can be also children like if you're doing like uh, working with children maybe there's going to be event with them and there's also a baby okay um like maybe it's just surprised maybe you're gonna be presenting a show to people or it can also be you going watching a theater um maybe like a movie like new movies are coming up maybe you're gonna go see something and enjoy yourself and follow your highest enjoy like enjoyment i also see a snake here on the outside of the cup so uh, when i see the snake i repeat, like a man i interpret it as um, kundalini energy so uh, maybe if you're looking for a healing physical healing can be that or maybe mental healing that can be that like towards the end of the week there's going to be two different people who are actually doing this kind of things and you're going to be connecting with them okay so i'm going to get into your plate now if you have a question a desire an intention just hold it in your mind and let's see what the answer is going to be i see the crescent moon right here and this is actually turning into like a huge whale so you might be meeting with someone who's very wealthy who actually uh, carries a lot of opportunities for people and uh, you might get a chunk of their money or maybe you're going to get involved with them and they're going to be 
giving you maybe you are manifesting this money you're becoming this whale beginning of this week you're going to take st steps towards it your desire has some time but it's going to be delivered to you i see it's related to a person or maybe a situation this person's wearing a hat this can represent its authority authority also this looks like a beautiful fish right here this is also representative of money and cash flowing into you and i also see here there's a woman i see reversed six also this looks like um letter e as an eric so but this i don't know this number is maybe looking in the mirror okay i see like here uh, some feminine energy needs to enter into your life there's a huge a right here you can see this also a is wearing a crown however this person has the letter a is actually the authority of something or going to become if you have it in your name maybe you are going to become an authority or this is in your heart so i'm gonna say this is probably somebody from your family i also see here you're communicating with two people one of them like you're right here in the middle maybe you're connecting two people together if they're separate or maybe uh, you are going to be introduced to somebody who's going to be a great opportunity for you okay just keep an open mind consider your opportunities and always follow your highest joy all right my lovelies that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye